what's up? It is the start of the Buzz Wordathon. It is a Monday, the 18th, I believe. Um, and I'm in the parking lot for my class that is going to start in around 30 minutes. And I am going to be reading Once Upon a Prince by Rachel Hauk before class starts. I haven't picked out an audiobook for the Buzz Wordathon because I'm <laughs> towards the end of a Black Dagger Brotherhood book at the moment. I am currently reading, listening to the shadows and I have two hours left. I need to finish that. Like I don't care if it's a buzz word a thon, I need to finish the shadows. <laughs> yeah, I have two hours left of that, so I'm probably going to finish it today. I'm really excited for this book though, because royalty romance. I love royalty romance. This is just over 300 pages, so hopefully it won't take me that long. But I will update y'all later when I've actually read something. Hey y'all, it is way later in the day. It is like 10.30 at night. I go to school and then I go to work all day and then I just have been watching some TV, hanging out with my family and um, I've read this. I'm on page I believe 81 of this and I believe it's like 300 30, 340 pages. I have some thoughts. <laughs> this is a royalty romance and the book like starts out with like the first page is her like 12 year long like high school sweetheart boyfriend breaking up with her. Nothing like happens. If that may I don't know if that's making sense but like nothing really like happens. Like yeah she's sad but like she's not like distraught over it. It was like a 12 year relationship but I think they, they, she says like in there they both like realize that like they're more friends than they are romantic partners which okay I get it maybe that's why she didn't wasn't really sad or upset I don't know one thing is really it's like standing out in my brain right now with this book is um so one of the characters is like a prince and then they like they meet in this small town like the prince like vacations at um that she lives in um but no one like knows that he's there except for a few people but like it's not like common knowledge that the prince like vacations in this town this really small town he goes places and like he sees her he drives places he goes places without bodyguards like you're going to be the king of a country and your bodyguards are not required to escort you places like in every royalty romance book that i read they've always had bodyguards with them they're freaking royalty like even just like a guy like a bodyguard like tailing you in the car behind you like he didn't have he doesn't have that he's just walking around town like he's a normal person, which he's not. He has like two bodyguards just sitting at his house, not bodyguarding him. I don't know, that that's really irked me. Like I'm only 80 pages in and I'm like, he's like run into this girl like twice without bodyguards. He goes like jogging on the beach with people that he doesn't know with no bodyguard watching over him. You're the future king of a country. Like that makes no sense of why she didn't make the bodyguards follow him everywhere. It's like one scene where I was like, okay, I understand. But like all the other scenes, I'm like, like he's going to church. There's no reason why your bodyguard should not be like watching out for you. Just sitting in like a, a pew or something way behind you. I don't know, I'm very confused. Um, Other than that, I don't know how I feel about this. I'm really hoping it gets better because it's just been boring. I don't know if I'm gonna read any more tonight. I'm really tired, I have to get up at 5.30 for my 7.30 class. I have tabbed two little marks in here, um, but that is mainly for um, biblical quotes that I really liked. There's one quote in here from the author and then there's a quote from the Bible that I highlighted. So hopefully this just gets better for me because I'm just, I was, I'm bored <laughs> to be honest with you. Hello, it is the next day, it is Tuesday and my reading update. I decided to download 10 Tiny Breaths by K.A. Tucker as my audiobook for the time being. I'm probably gonna finish it before the week is over. It's only seven hours and I listen on around two times speed and I'm enjoying it a lot so far. I'm really invested in it even an hour into it because I read the fourth book in this companion romance series years ago and it's one of my favorite books ever that's called five ways to fall this is the first book in that series so i think any books in this series would count because i think every book in this series has a number in the title so who knows i may pick up the next one if 
I'm feeling it. And this one, what I can gather so far, is about this girl named Casey who's 20 years old and she moves across the country with her five year younger sister named Livy. They're on their own because Casey was in a car accident with her parents, her best friend, and her boyfriend when she was, I think maybe 17 or 18 and she was the only survivor in the car crash so she's escaping her troubled past now and they moved to Miami and I think this is going to be a relationship between her and the tenant who lives next door to her and her sister in this apartment complex that she rented out for really cheap. That's what I think this is going to be about. I ended up reading maybe like 100 more pages of once upon a prince i'm kind of bored with it i want to be more invested i think that i'm going to read as much as i can today hopefully i get hooked and i guess if i don't get hooked i'll dnf it which i haven't dnf the physical book in a while which is sad <laughs> like i don't enjoy dnfing books but i'm not gonna read something that i'm not enjoying you know so i'm gonna go into class i'm in the parking lot for my geology class today um, so I'm gonna go in there, read a little bit before class starts, and I might be able to read on my Kindle. <laughs> I wasn't able to yesterday, um, because I brought my laptop today, and sometimes I read on my laptop when I get really sleepy. Um, so I will talk to y'all later with an update. Hello, it is another clip of me in the car. Oh my gosh, you could probably hear the AC. There you go. It's hot in Texas, okay? <laughs> it is later in the day. It is 3 o'clock. I am waiting in the carpool line to pick up the kids that I nanny from school. And I'm already halfway through 10 Tiny Breaths, aka okay, Tucker, more than halfway through. I was correct in the girl forming a relationship with her neighbor, but I have a theory, which I can't, I can't tell you because it's a spoiler. I have a theory of who this guy is because we don't really like get to know him a lot because he doesn't really want to talk about himself he's very mysterious in his past i have a theory as to who he might be i kind of hope he's not the person i'm thinking he's gonna be because then like uh, there's gonna be conflict that i don't want to read about <laughs> but i am really enjoying this right now i'm like thinking 4.5 stars right now the only reason it couldn't be five is because man their attraction to each other just like hit it off like real fast i'm the type of person who really loves a friends to lovers a hate to love a slow burn when it's like instant like i don't know it's not really my favorite it's not my cup of tea that's my only little critique right now so i'm thinking 4.5 at the moment um i haven't read any more of once upon a prince i keep thinking like oh, i'm gonna dnf it like I don't want to finish this but then I'm also thinking like but I want to know what happens I don't know I just uh I think I just set the bar really high for this book though I thought it'd be a romance about royalty and Christianity woven in there it's just boring <laughs> um it's like 80 pages and nothing has happened hopefully that changes <laughs> hello it is later I think I have around three or two and a half hours left of 10 tiny breaths so i'm thinking that i want to download a game that i haven't played in a long time i had to delete it because it was taking up a lot of storage on my phone yeah i thought about downloading best fiends <laughs> is what i'm talking about playing that while listening to the audiobook which i haven't done that in so long because i mostly get my audiobook listening in through my commuting i haven't just sat down in my bed and listened to a book while playing a game on my phone in a long time i think i'm gonna dnf once upon a prince uh, I feel so bad because I was so excited about this. Like, I was so excited about this, but, like, I'm really bored. I think I'm going to try to read either Twice in a Blue Moon or Unbroken 13 Short Stories of Disabled Teens. I think I'm going to read either one of those. I'm not mentally prepared at the moment for the seven husbands of evelyn hugo i was thinking about maybe if i do get to that book i would save it till the weekend when i don't have school or work going on speaking of work my lovely boss surprised me and the kids today if you didn't know i'm a nanny frozen comes out this week frozen 2 and she invited me to go watch it with them i'm so 
excited. I was gonna go watch it by myself. Like I was gonna go to the movie theater by myself and go see Frozen 2. Now I get to hang out with the kids and their mom, who I love. Hello everyone, good morning. We are in my car again. I think this is just gonna be a normal thing now. <laughs> I have Unbroken 13 Stories Starring Disabled Teens. I plan to use these sticky notes and um, I think after each story I'm going to summarize what it's about or what I think about it or what disability is in it and put that in each story. I don't know, That's I think that'll help me because last short story collection I read was actually an audiobook and I don't remember anything about it because I don't physically have it. That's what I'm going to be doing. I'm really excited for this though. I'm not going to reread the first story because that first story like really threw me off from the book. Last night I finished 10 Tiny Breaths by K.A. Tucker. Let me just say it went downhill <laughs> in what I thought about it. Um, some things happened that like I wasn't okay with or I uh, I don't know how to describe it but like um, without spoiling just some things came to light in this book that I was like okay I'm not okay with that I wouldn't be okay with that yeah the ending was also very rushed our main character gets put into like a different setting or different phase of her life and it's very rushed so let me be like two chapters when the rest of the book was all the other chapters anyway it just it leaves a bad taste in my mouth of what what is revealed i don't know it wasn't like resolved to a point that like i felt comfortable with i wouldn't feel comfortable if i was in a certain person's shoes i finished the book listening to it last night at like 10 30 and i just sat in my bed like what the hell because i've read the fourth book in this companion series and it is so stinking good like it's one of the first like romance romance books that I've ever read and it was so good. After reading this and I was like, ooh, um, I'm not okay with some of this stuff. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm gonna read the other two books. Right now I am not listening to the next book. I am listening to Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas. I got this recommendation from Chandler Ainsley who is a booktuber here on booktube. She um, is really great. I will link her down below. She posts a bunch about romance books. This is one of her favorite books. So I saw it on Audible Escape and I was like, ooh, I'll pick that up. Chandler like DNF'd 10 Tiny Breaths because she did not like it at all. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe I'll like maybe I'll like this one. <laughs> it is a new adult romance book about a guy and a girl who were pen pals in fifth grade and now they're around 18, 19 and they're st still pen palling but something happens to where the guy has stopped writing for some reason. Well I know the reason now. I'm about an hour into the audiobook. I'm actually really enjoying this. I gotta go into class again i have biology again oh i also forgot to mention yesterday in class i started it takes two to tumble by cat sebastian i'm only like five six pages into <laughs> it i think so i don't really have any thoughts about it anyways okay i'm gonna go head into class and read some of unbroken good morning i am so tired right now <laughs> last night I didn't update you really because I, yeah, right after work, went and babysat. <laughs> so I was up pretty late, but I ended up finishing Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas. I listened to it all in one day. I gave this one five stars. I really enjoyed this one. I don't even remember if I like said the summary or what it's about, but I say it's, you should go into it pretty, pretty blindly. I really enjoyed it a lot and yeah so i don't really have that many thoughts right now my brain is like mush i'm so tired right now but i started another audiobook today that is one ride by chelsea cameron i believe this is an mc romance which i've never read an mc romance if you didn't know what mc stands for it stands for motorcycle club i've never read one before so i'm excited um i'm basically an hour into it and i'm enjoying it. It's about a daughter of the president of a motorcycle club and then I don't know who the guy is so I don't know how he pretends to like 
being her love interest or whatever. But anyway, I gotta go inside because I have geology class. So I will talk to y'all later. Hello everyone. Excuse the messy room behind me. You probably can't even see it, but whatever. It is the morning and look what came in the mail today. My bay crate. Um, this is my first time ever purchasing bay crate. I just did a one-time purchase because I really wanted this one book in this one box. Um, so we'll see if I purchase another box. I've heard great things about this subscription box. It's a romance subscription box, so this isn't sponsored or anything by them, but I wanted to unbox it. If you don't want to be spoiled on what is inside of the box, I guess skip until I'm not unboxing anything. <laughs> I don't know, because in a little bit I'm going to be explaining um, what I read and what I didn't read yesterday. <laughs> Um, so I'm gonna unbox this. I'm really excited to wear my scissors. <laughs> so I bought this box solely for this one book that I wanted and it comes with like extra little goodie trinkets or something. So Oh, I already ripped it. Great job, Avery. <laughs> Whoa, everything just fell out. Oh my gosh, I see the book. <laughs> okay, let's get the trinkets out of the way first. We have... No way! I've been meaning to get a new pop socket, and it's a Libby pop socket. Libby is my life. Are you serious? This is awesome. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm so putting this on my phone. I'm so putting this on my phone, because my pop socket has flowers on it, but it's like fading. This is freaking perfect. Oh my gosh, I already love this. First item. Okay, November theme. Can I bring my book? Here's a little little card that comes with it and on the back is um, like a little cheat sheet of what everything is. Next is clip on spotlight. Oh, I guess this is a book light. It comes with a little book light. Oh, that's great. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So it's like, you have like a little notepad thing and um, you can see it starts with the title of the book, you can put the author's name, the date you started, and then your notes about the book as you read. This is actually amazing. Um, you can put the page number on this side and then your note on this side. And then you can put date finish on the bottom and then what you rated it. Oh my gosh, I love that. I've never seen that before. I'm totally using this. I'm totally using this. Oh, here's a print. Um, I think it's of the couple of the book that is in the box, maybe. Yeah, that's really cute. This is, oh, I missed something. Oh my gosh, it is a signed book plate from the author. Signed book plate from the author, and this is, oh, it's a photo album. I was like, what is this contraption? Um, I guess this is like the front of it, if you want, and you can put something inside of it. And then this says, all the things that make you different make you perfect. Oh, cute. And then when you open it, you can put pictures inside. That is really cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. <laughs> and then here is a tote bag. Oh my gosh, I love this. Okay, let me put this down. It says, first rule of book club, don't talk about book club. Ah, that's really cute. And then I think the last item in here, oh no, there's one more item besides the book. <gasps> That's pretty, <laughs> whoa. It's a pen. That's cute, oh my gosh. I'm loving this. And the book in the box that I've been waiting for is the Bromance Book Club by Lisa K. Adams. I'm so excited for this, I'm so excited for this. And here's the book plate to put inside of it. This is about, I believe a, a baseball, player who is having a really hard time in his marriage and to make his marriage like be better or like find out new ways of how to fix his marriage he gets invited into a romance book club by all of his other like baseball teammates that sounded so good i'm so glad i have this i'm going to read this as soon as possible <laughs> i'm loving all of the stuff i love everything in this box now my dogs are going crazy Okay, I'm done unboxing. It is almost noon. I 
didn't go to class today because it is winding down till the end of the year and my biology professor literally finished the last chapter in the last unit on Wednesday and so she's just deciding to show us YouTube videos during class and I'm like what's the point of coming to class if all you're gonna show me are YouTube videos that I can watch at home <laughs> anyway I'm not here to talk about my kooky biology teacher reading update I finished one ride by Chelsea Cameron I think that's how you pronounce her name uh, I don't know I don't know I'm gonna read this book I actually really enjoyed it it was my first ever MC romance but I feel like it could have more more stuff could have happened it's like very 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 romance based and we don't get a lot into what happens in the motorcycle club really at all like you see people from the motorcycle club and the main character the other main character is like in the motorcycle club but there like wasn't enough like drama if that makes sense like the author could have done more i think um it's kind of like a little bit boring in a sense because nothing really happened <laughs> Except like these two characters like hating slash loving each other if that makes sense. So I don't know what I'm gonna rate it. I'm thinking maybe 3.5 stars. Like it's not a bad book. I really really love these characters. The steamy scenes were very well written. Very well written. <laughs> oh there's Katniss. Hey leave Oreo alone. Thank you. Yesterday read one more story from Unbroken 13 stories starring disabled teen. I'm halfway through the third story the second story was so good like i want a book centered around these two characters like like but we're not gonna get it unfortunately because it's a short story but like i want to email the author and tell him i want this book so badly the second one dealt with a form of visual impairment and the third story that i'm currently reading is about a girl who is in a wheelchair and i think that story also has lgbtq rep in it um, I'm not sure yet because I'm halfway through, but I feel like she like has deep feelings for her like best friend. I'm really enjoying Unbroken, but I am going to see Frozen 2 today. Ah. So I'm going to go eat something and then I will update y'all later after I've seen Frozen 2. <laughs> There's a raccoon sitting on the fence. Can you not zoom in? chilling on the fence. Hey dude. Is he looking at me? <laughs> Ollie. He's being um a brave little guard dog watching a raccoon and a birdie. <laughs> you see the booty? No, I see the raccoon now. Are you being Mr. Protector? Hi everyone, I just got back from watching Frozen 2. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I cried a few times. I personally think this is better than the first Frozen. I I want to go see that again. Like right now. I loved it so much. It was so much funnier than the first one also. I'm like flipping out because I was in the movie for what like two hours and I opened up my phone and I have like so many notifications from Instagram. I'm like what is going on? And the <laughs> bait crate, the crate that I just unboxed literally a couple minutes ago for y'all. I am going to be their booktube rep for January, it looks like. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Oh my word. I was getting really emotional. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I don't know the full details. I haven't looked into it. I'm going to, um, but I'm very, very grateful if anyone from Bakery is watching this. Thank you so, so much. Like this is crazy. <laughs> And so so sweet. I'm very grateful and so humbled that someone would pick me to be a rep because I love y'all's box It was amazing. It was amazing. Like I ordered the box I just unboxed for y'all with my own money and Like they didn't send me anything. I wasn't paid to promote the box. I just unboxed whatsoever like no and I sent my application in to be a rep for them like a couple weeks ago apparently today they came out with who they're reps are gonna be. <laughs> Check out Bake Rate's Instagram if you want to know their Instagram reps and their other two booktube reps. I'm gonna go check all those people out when I go inside, but I'm so grateful. Thank, thank you so much. This is like insane. Like, this is insane. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go inside and stew in my feelings. <laughs>
this maybe like 11 o'clock i've been watching booktube there's riley marie <laughs> i've only read one short story from unbroken i've been running errands today i've been cleaning stuff today i had to go to the store to get medicine because i have a really bad bug bite well it got really big <laughs> And it started spreading, you can maybe see the line, it started spreading towards my elbow and it started getting bigger. So we drew a line around it to see if it got bigger or not. And then it, it was, it's been what, maybe like two hours, three hours since then. And um, it's grown over the line. That's why we put the bandage on it. Also, it might be TMI, but stuff is coming out of it now. <laughs> so put the bandages on there so it would nothing would come out of it and spread <laughs> if it doesn't get better I might have to go to urgent care because I don't know what to do my mom woke up when I was putting medicine on it and I was like uh this doesn't look great now <laughs> and so she looked at she was like we need to go to urgent care right now and I'm like stop like I don't feel bad like Yes, my arm, like my whole arm hurts now, not just that spot, like the whole arm hurts. It hurts to bend my arm now, <laughs> but like, it's 11 o'clock at night, we don't need to go right now. Let's wait till tomorrow, and if it's bad tomorrow, then I will go. I'm not going right now. I have no strip on my face, I'm in my PJs, I'm ready to go to sleep. I actually do want to read maybe the rest of It Takes two to tumble i think i'm close to page 100 in that and i think it's only 200 something pages so maybe i can finish it tonight i just realized though that i'm not gonna get a lot of reading done for tomorrow because i have a test next week that i'm going to start studying for so i like to do the study guide and get all the information i need to study two days before the test and then the day before the test that's when i actually read everything and study everything that i prepared um so i have to prepare for my test tomorrow um and then i also have to edit this vlog to go up on monday i have all the footage uploaded to my laptop so i got that part of it out of the way also for anyone else who like films on their phone like i do like how do you deal with not having enough storage like it frustrates me to no end how like i'll be midway filming a video and then all of a sudden my camera will stop because my storage is too full so i have to stop filming i have to upload all my footage to my laptop and then delete all the footage from my phone and sometimes that's not enough space for me to film something else which is ridiculous but i had that issue today <laughs> i'm going to finish riley's video and then i'm going to read some more of cat sebastian's book which i'm really enjoying so far because um it it reminds me of the sound of music but like gay if that makes sense like maria's a man that's how i think about this book so far so if you're looking for a gay version of the sound of music here you go or it could be a gay version of nanny mcphee but like the guy doesn't fall for nanny mcphee he falls for the the other girl anyway <laughs> okay so i will talk to y'all maybe tomorrow i'm gonna cross my fingers and pray that i don't have to go to urgent care tomorrow hello everyone i did indeed have to go to urgent care. <laughs> I woke up and it doubled in size and the pain radiated all the way up to my armpit. My forearm is swollen, like completely swollen. So needless to say, I have not gotten a lot of reading done. I went to urgent care, <laughs> had to go pick up my medicine, I edited this vlog and um, then ate lunch and took my medicine that was prescribed to me and I'm pretty sure the medicine has like some drowsing effects in it. So I went into my bed to read some of It Takes Two to Tumble and read two chapters. And next thing I know, it's three hours, two hours later and I fell asleep because of the medicine. <laughs> so it is like 5.30 right now. I'm so exhausted. <laughs> this thing hurts really badly. It looks disgusting. I've been diagnosed with cellul cellulitis. Cell I think it's how you pronounce it. Cellulitis. Yeah, it's just a bug bite that became really infected. We had to draw a line around the area to see if it grew and then in the morning it was double in size and so we drew another line around it and it looks like 
it's going down after taking one pill so yay all i know is with that medicine i have to take i'm probably gonna be exhausted for the next couple of days so yay <laughs> anyway um i want to get this vlog up tomorrow so i'm going to wrap everything up and tell y'all what i read this week do an overall wrap up i might read a little bit more tonight i honestly have no idea i still haven't even prepared for my test that's on tuesday because i've been so gosh darn tired um so i have to do that tonight but i really want to finish uh like two of these books so let me tell y'all about all of the books i read this week so i in total have read seven books but i've only completed three. First one i completed is ten tiny breaths by k.a tucker i ended up giving this one three stars on goodreads but after looking back at the footage that i filmed for my thoughts on the ending of it and everything i started thinking about giving it maybe like a two or 2.5 stars i said in there i think this is an okay book which in reality i also started thinking i was not okay with this book so i might give it a 2 or a 2.5 i don't know at the moment i guess check my goodreads later to see what i update it to number two the second book that i completed is punk 57 by penelope douglas this one is on the audible romance package so if you want to listen to it and have the audible escape audible romance package whatever this is on there i gave this one five stars i really loved this one i've been thinking about it like all week i really want to get my own copy to add to my collection so i really enjoyed this one and i really recommend this one the third book that i completed is one ride by chelsea cameron i give this one 3.5 out of 5 stars this was my first motorcycle club romance i've been reaching out to a few people asking for their recommendations for motorcycle club romances so please leave them down below i thought it was okay i just wish that there was more things going on if you know what i mean uh, this whole book is centered around a girl who like gets a threat from this big like mafia boss or whatever because she is the daughter of the president of a motorcycle club but like we don't read about the threat if that makes sense we don't read about her like in danger basically we just read about her on a motorcycle like going to like a safe house if that makes sense i would just wanted more about the club i guess but the romance between the two characters was really great it's kind of like a hate to love thing and then the next four uh books i had not completed yet for various reasons i read 95 pages of once upon a prince by rachel Hauk. I don't know if I'm going to complete this to be honest with you. Ever since I DNF'd it, I have not thought about it once. Unfortunate, but it's very boring. It was very boring. There was nothing exciting about it and overall I found it unrealistic. Next, I listened to some of The Hot One by Lauren Blakely. I know I haven't talked about this actually yet, but I did some errands yesterday and I started this audiobook. I honestly can't remember what has happened and I'm over halfway through the audiobook. It's a six hour audiobook, um, so I think I'm gonna just not finish it because I <laughs> tomorrow I'm planning on starting more Black Dagger Brotherhood audiobooks. I think this one is a second chance romance maybe <laughs> if, if it looks interesting to you go look it up I guess I honestly don't know what this book is about other than it being second chance romance and I've listened to over half of it I think also yesterday my mind was like mush while I was listening to it probably gonna DNF it though next I read it takes two to tumble by Kat Sebastian I am 31% of the way through this book and I am really enjoying this one like I said before this is basically like a gay version of the sound of music if that makes sense. Maria is like a nun. Her love interest, I forget his name, is a captain in The Sound of Music. And in this book, the nanny or like the tutor or whatever, he is a vicar. And then the father of all the children is a navy captain. So it's it's basically like a gay version of The Sound of Music, except there's no like music in it. <laughs> then I am on page 90 of Unbroken. 13 stories starring disabled teens. Um, I have read three stories during this readathon. As I said before, I did not read the first story. I read the first story over the summer and it made me want to put down this book. Um, so I did not read that again. Thank goodness because I really enjoyed the next three. The second story in the collection is Brit and the Bike God by Cody Keplinger. I loved this one. I want a book solely like a full-length novel on these two characters i give this one five stars the disability in this one is brit um 
has a visual impairment, but she um, cycles, like rides a bicycle. And I forget the name of it, but she rides like the two-person bike. I forget the name of it, but she rides a two-person bike because she can't see where she's going necessarily all that well. So she rides in the back and um, someone's her captain who's the front um, writer. Next, I read The Leap and the Fall by Kayla Whaley. The disability in this one is that our main character, Eloise, is in a wheelchair and this one is kind of like spooky. I feel like this story would be perfect for like Halloween-y time. This one is about Eloise going into an abandoned carnival with her best friend Gemma who she's had a crush on for forever. And um, it's very spooky, very eerie. I actually really enjoyed this. I gave this one 4.5 out of 5 stars. Um, the only reason why I couldn't give it 5 stars is because the beginning was a little bit not gripping for me personally. And then the last story, the fourth story in the book is Per Aspera Ad Astra. I don't know what language that is, but that's the title. It is by Catherine Locke. I give this one 3 stars. I wasn't invested in it. The disability rep in this one is she has a very severe form of anxiety and I also believe that she has, I forget what it's called when you can't leave your house, like when you're petrified to leave your house. I'm, I'm forgetting what that's called but I believe she has that as well. Like she has a heart rate monitor on and everything and I felt for her on that because I have to use that all the time and so does she. And this one is actually like set in space on a different planet. They might be facing a war <laughs> in this and she might have to face getting out of her room or house or whatever. I enjoyed it. It just, it didn't grip me all that much and it was very confusing because it's like a different world, a different planet and I didn't really get a lot of world building in that short of a story. It wasn't my cup of tea per se but it was okay. I really do want to read the next stories in here. I'm on page 90. I think I have nine stories left in here. Um, so I'm looking forward to finishing those. I had a lot of fun during this readathon. I always have fun doing readathons, but it's kind of hard to find audiobooks that weren't expensive and it wasn't a long time to wait for through my library for this readathon. I really wanted to read some other books too. It's just I've been having a really hard time reading physically at the moment because I'm in a state of mind where I am so sleepy like all the time where anytime I lay down in my bed to read a book now I will conk out in like 20 minutes so I can't read in my bed anymore. I have to go probably outside or at the table. Most of my reading gets done like in class or before class. <laughs> I've been having a really hard time staying awake because I work full time and I go to school. So, And plus the disorder that I have just makes me sleepy all the time. It makes me very fatigued. Um, that's one of the side effects for having the two, <laughs> two of the disorders that I have. So I'm just a very sleepy mellow person. <laughs> I guess I will chat with y'all later. I'm going to try to start doing weekly reading vlogs. I'm gonna try and maybe post like a weekly reading vlog a week. Let me know down below if you participated in the Buzzwordathon and if you have a vlog up or anything because I love to watch that. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all soon in my next video. Bye! I can't have you see my full freaking arm or else you'll all be disgusted. <laughs> Thank you.